The market sentiment altered after an unexpected decline in the US unemployment rate and the most significant rise in the number of new jobs in the last six months. Traders have every reason to expect a stable and long-lasting growth in the greenback. However, they should remember that the currency is significantly overbought. Thus, it may show local bounds. The bounds could have been caused by the Eurozone retail sales report and thus the indicator was expected to show a lower decrease of 2.6% compared to a drop of 2.8% in the previous period. Although the data would still point to the weakening consumer activity, a positive tendency amid the overbought conditions could have led to a slight correction. However, the real data shocked the traders. Retail sales slid by 2.8%, whereas the previous data was upwardly revised to a decline of 2.5%. In other words, the data turned out to be below the forecast. What's more, Eurozone retail sales have been falling for more than six months. It also proves the assumption that the European Central Bank will be the first to cut the key interest rate. Such information could hardly cause a rebound. It may only force investors to put in their funds in the US dollar. In the fact, they have already started doing this. Notably, the greenback's output potential is limited by overbought conditions. The market still needs um, at least a local correction. So, however, there are no reasons uh, for that now. Let us focus um, on the trading chart. And the decrease in the euro-dollar pair became faster amid strong information background. As a result, the quotes lead to 1.0800 and settled below this level on the 4-hour chart. And this auction points to a slowdown in the upward cycle. To continue falling, the price should settle below 1.0750 on the daily chart. And in this case, it may drop deeper to 1.06. 50 and 1.0500. Traders will consider the upward scenario if the price rebounds from a 1.0800. In this case, traders should take into account the technical signal of oversold conditions of the euro, spurred by an inertial movement. Meanwhile, the pound-dollar pair approached to the psychological level of 1.20 amid an inertial downward movement. Since the pound sterling became oversold and approached to the control level, the volume of short positions dropped. Uh, and uh, this, in turn, slackened the inertial movement. If the pair fails to break uh, the psychological level, it uh, may stagnate. In uh, the best case scenario, the level of 1.2000 will act um, as a support, and in this event, uh, the price will rebound to 1.2150. Traders will consider the continuation of the downtrend if the price settles below 1.1950 on the daily chart. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.